In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to mass edit several textures um, that may not have imported correctly and or you need to change some settings in there. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you this process. So in my content browser, um, I've actually just isolated a few textures that I have. Um, they all have the, the suffix ORM, which is Occlusion Roughness Metalness. Now, if you're familiar with using layer textures, in particular with combining your ambient occlusion, metalness, and roughness maps together, you'll know that in order to get the results that you need accurately, that texture should be considered, uh, uh, converted to non-sRGB, so it needs to be in linear space. Now, if I just click one of these and open it, bring it over here, um, you can see that I've already got this one set up, but by default, it may come in as default DXT15, which means that your sRGB will be checked, which is not correct. Um, without going too deep into linear, uh, linear or sRGB color space, linear is what you want to apply to all of your grayscale maps, which is what we're looking for in this. So I'll isolate just my red channel and you can see there's my occlusion map. So I do need that in linear space, which means I could manually go in, change the compression settings from default to mass, no sRGB, which will uncheck sRGB, and that's great. You know, but let's just say that um, I imported all these textures and they don't import by default. Well, there's a really quick and easy way to change all these. So I will select all of these maps. I'm gonna right click, give it a second here. I'm gonna go to asset actions, bulk edit via property matrix. And this will pop up a window. So I can see here that even these have already been changed ahead of time. You notice that they may have been reset to default. So if I select all these and just reset them, um, well, I won't manually click it, we'll go through. Um, but let's just say that, for example, all these were set to default. Uh, really easy way to do this is, I'll, I'll unroll all these guys, but really the one we're concerned with here is our compression settings. So you can see there's a lot of adjustments we can make kind of on a, on a global scale. But what I'm gonna do is go down to my compression settings, change it to mass, no sRGB, give it a second, and then you'll notice that it changes every single one of them, um, at which point, You'll see here that I get the flag to go ahead and save them. I can actually click save in this window. It will save them or I can go back down here and right click save. Um, the cool part about this is by using the asset, um, uh, the bulk property matrix, um, it's an easy way to go through and change multiple settings all at once and save it. Um, again, all those settings will be exposed um, kind of in the right hand side here. Um, so fun little quick tip if you've got a lot of bulk editing to do this is a really quick and easy way to do that So I hope that helps. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one